Hi, I'm George from Melling. Thanks for clicking. In this segment, we're going to talk about the Chrysler 2.7 Timing Components and Oil Pump. First, we should make sure that the engine is in good enough condition to warrant replacing the timing components. By this, I mean you should test the oil pressure hot at idle and at 3,000 RPM. The absolute lowest pressure the engine should have is 5 PSI at idle and 45 PSI at 3,000 RPM. If the pressures are at or below a minimum, an engine rebuild may be needed. Check the face on your oil pump to make sure that it has the updated M296 pump with the chain oiler hole. When replacing the pump and timing components, always follow the OE instructions and torque specifications. And don't forget to activate the hydraulic tensioner. Don't forget! Our timing sets for the 2.7 now come with a hydraulic tensioner that has the O-ring in the correct OE location. These kits are available with or without sprockets and come with heavy duty right lower arm and left lower guide. Always be sure to check the number of windows on the target wheel to make sure that they match the one removed. The MSB-02 is a new stop block from Melgear. This stop block is used to prevent the timing tensioner arm from losing contact with the primary chain in case the hydraulic tensioner loses oil pressure. This helps avoid catastrophic engine failure. To complete the job, use the MPL-101 pressure primer to properly prime the oiling system. Remember, never start an engine that hasn't been free lube. Never! These are just a few examples of our expanded coverage. Remember, when looking for timing components, look to Melgear for coverage and quality. I'm George from Melling. Thanks for clicking and good luck.